how do we play it? The market's had an extraordinary rally. It's going to have an extraordinary rally today. Um, and um, valuations in some parts of the market are attractive. Others are decidedly unattractive at the moment. What, what should our viewers be doing? Well, we have been positioning ourselves in the sense that we still believe that U.S. equities are... Uh, very bullish in their valuations. So our strategic asset allocation is positioned in a way that we uh, under uh, allocate to U.S. equities just because we think that they're less attractive because of the valuation. So for instance, in terms of differential right now, we are talking about two percentage point over the next two, per two percentage point, three percentage point in terms of U.S. equity returns in nominal terms versus the rest of the world over the next five to ten years. So definitely like European equities, developed market equities and even emerging market equities from our perspective are more attractive looking forward. Um, and within the equity space as well, you, you, you said regionally other areas as well, but I mean the interest rate sensitive sectors, is that the most obvious place to start looking? I mean we saw real estate today for instance having an extraordinary rally. Is that where to look or, or somewhere else? I think that especially considering the fact that the, our base case is still for a mild recession in yeah. 2024 in the US and also in Europe. Well, technically in Europe we are already there, like we are flirting with recession. So we do prefer at sectors that are like more recession friendly to some extent. So like consumer stables, financials, even a healthcare, mm -hmm. and of course less favorably to tech and communication. So that's interesting. So despite the fact that we've got this extraordinary rally from some of the, 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 yeah, the Vanovia I noticed yes. over in Germany, rallying, despite the fact that there is relief today as well, this is not the right time with a mild recession on the horizon in 2024, not the right time to be buying those stocks. We don't think so, no. In terms of asset allocation on a strategic basis, we don't think so. Just looking at the FTSE, we're back through 7,700 points. and We've not been there since October. To me, this looks like a laggards rally. All the stocks that have been left behind in 2023, the market's now raking back over them. What is that telling you? Well, I think that the equity market right now is in a position. Also, there is, I think there is also a little bit of a December effect, to be honest with you, a little bit of exuberance coming to the end of, of the year, and possibly also fostered by the messaging of the Fed yesterday. So giving a little bit more release on what the policy of interest rate cuts might be. And so this is, I think, blowing a little bit on the equity sector today. But again, here we're looking at strategic asset allocation over the medium term for us. So we're not really positioning ourselves for what is going to happen over the next couple of months. But it doesn't surprise me too much that towards the end of the year, there is a little bit of this, this rally. It actually started a few months ago. But we do believe that there's going to be a correction at the beginning of next year, probably in the first quarter, given the monetary tightening in real terms that uh, so is going to pan out. on top for the seasonalities here. When we take it all down, that's when the dip, dip could come next year, first quarter. Well, I think it's, it's in the cards, yes. I think it's more likely that there's going to be a correction in the first quarter of next year in, in the equity sector.